The Wood Shop is sponsored by Chefware Kits with hundreds of items for wood turners. All right, welcome back. I'm going to make a maple coffee table today, but before I get started, there were a couple things I wanted to explain in the video, and one of them was about the turquoise inlay I did. So it's you fill it in, fill it with CA glue, sand it down, and then ch check to see if there's some voids in it. And you keep keep doing this two or three times until you get get it flush, because you'll you keep finding little voids where where it didn't fill in. And the other thing was about the finish. I I put a polyurethane finish on it, and I went to take some pictures of it before I even had the, had it done. And it just it was too glossy. I didn't like it, and there's too much glare. So I went ahead and sanded that off and used walnut oil and beeswax. So that's why all of a sudden you in the video you start you'll see me wet sanding with 400. And what I did is I just soaked it down with the walnut oil and wet sanded it. So that's what that's about. All right, and oh, one other thing. Happy 4th of July. All right, let's get started. I just have it sanded to 100 grit right now through the surface sander and I have some great cracks in here and I'm going to fill those in with uh, some turquoise. So I'm going to just fill those in and then we'll start doing the finished sanding. Just kind of filling in up here, There's some, it's pretty big. And then we'll take the powder. this one I'm not sure how well you're going to be able to see these right here but I'm going to fill them in anyway
so here's a piece of maple I'm going to use for the legs. It has a natural edge on one side, and it's not quite thick enough this way to do it without having a little bit of the natural edge, which is fine. I, I like that look. Um, so, but I think it's only going to be on maybe two of the legs. I have to come back in a couple of feet here to before I can start so I can get enough for the leg. And then I think probably the center one won't have any of the natural edge. But that's fine. I, I like that look and, and I'll sand it all down and clean it up. But this is what I'm going to use for the lathe. So I'm going to just get it cut up and then we'll uh, get it on the lathe. So I finished the first one, put a tenon on the end of it here, it's about three quarters, and uh, the table's about an inch thick, so, and then I'm going to recess that up, in, and there are 16 inches, and I just finished it with uh, oil and wax. So, just going to go ahead and match the other two to it. All right, I have the legs done. So I'm just gonna go ahead and flip this over, put a little bit of finish on the bottom and then the edges, and then bore a hole for the tenon here. But just some beautiful grain on the, on the legs too. Just gorgeous stuff, spalting and everything. All right. All right, so I just put some oil on, on the bottom and I'm gonna mark out for the legs. I'm gonna put one over here, one right here. A little bit of room for the edge, and then I'm gonna put one right out here on the on the tip. And I'm just gonna use my drill press and a forcer bit. And I made these these uh, tight. I'm gonna um, just sand them down just a little bit if I have to to get them fit. I want a nice snug fit. So I'm just gonna drill out these three holes. Alright, I'm just going to go ahead and put some glue on it 
and I'm going to turn them so the pretty sides out. Just want to make sure they're sitting down flat first. Around the lip here. All right, there we go. I love the way this turned out. I've had this piece of wood for about 16 years and I wanted to make a coffee table since I got it. And I just, I love the way that finish turned out. I love that oil and wax. It just adds a, a nice depth to it. I really, really love that. It's about six feet long, 20 inches wide and almost 17 inches tall. And even before I, before I started, somebody actually had a suggestion on, on uh, last week's video was to put something in here, like a piece of glass. I'm not sure if I want to put a piece of glass, but something down there and then fill this void with something, maybe maybe like rocks or something. I've seen some coffee tables where they, they inlay rocks in it, but I think that would be neat to do something there. And then, not sure if you can see it, but I'll put some pictures up at the very end. The, the turquoise, I have a couple little spots there filled, filled up, but I'm very happy with how that turned out. All right. As always, thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe.